Broughton, United Kingdom. Airbus makes parts for airplanes, including the biggest wings in the world. These 150-foot behemoths are for the A380 Super Jumbo. Mike Gladwin heads up the dispatch team, one of the most stressful jobs on site. Can you get that to you half hour? Today, he's responsible for four A320 wings. The ultra-sophisticated pieces of aviation hardware take over two months to build. It is a lot of money, but it's an expensive product. There's nothing cheap about this. But Gladwin has a huge problem. The wings in Wales need to be fitted to aircraft bodies 540 miles away in Germany. I know, I know you're under the pressure, but uh, any idea of the timing? There's only one machine for the job. Beluga, the A300-600ST. The ST stands for Super Transporter. Cargo deck, 50,000 cubic feet. Maximum load, 47 tons. That's about nine Army Humvees. Beluga has the largest cargo deck in the world and the biggest airplane door in aviation history. With a top speed of over 600 miles per hour and a range of 2,800 miles, Beluga is designed from the ground up to move big loads over big distances. Crew, Alain Marchezzo, Loadmaster. Didier Gross, Co-Pilot. Captain, Francois Canton. One of only 20 people on the planet who pilot the whale. There's only five uh, belugas uh, worldwide, and it's, it's something so unusual, so incredible. I love it. Beluga is on its final descent into Broughton. We expect to start descent within the next five minutes. Beluga's enormous cargo deck is unique. Its unusual shape is also an Achilles heel. 25-foot sides make the plane susceptible to crosswinds, especially during takeoffs and landings. The crew keeps an eye on the weather. A storm front with winds gusting over 45 miles per hour is heading in from the Irish Sea. You just have to get used to it because it, it, it behaves in a kind of different way. Beluga needs to land, load the wings, and take off before the storm hits. Attempting any part of the mission in wind speeds over 35 miles per hour could be fatal. Beluga is minutes away. It's Gladwin's job to have the multi-million dollar wings ready. It can be stressful. If you start to rush things, have an accident. Paul Anderson is in charge of transferring the wings onto the transporter jigs. Oh, if we're late, the crew get very upset. Each jig is specially designed to hold two A320 wings. The jigs are loaded onto Beluga and locked down in the cargo hold. Paul spots a problem with one of the jigs' clamps. It's not lined up properly. Say like this now. Yeah. Look at the angle of that. It's going to slow down the job, but the wing has to be lifted and realigned. 33,000 feet above, Beluga is on its final approach. And preparing to fight strong winds blowing across the runway. Beluga can't land in winds above 35 miles per hour. It's too dangerous. At ground level, the crosswinds are already averaging 23 miles per hour. You can uh, both feel that the size of the other aircraft is uh, it's quite sensitive to, to crosswind. Beluga's shape makes the aircraft incredibly tough to control, especially when landing at 125 miles per hour.
Air traffic controller Jeff Miller is acutely aware of the danger. The actual shape of the aircraft makes the fuselage act like a big sail, so if the wind's coming from the side, it'll obviously try and push the aircraft off the runway. Beluga is coming in fast. The success of the mission and an 86-ton whale of a plane are in Canton's capable hands. Yeah. 